New question, the member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My, my question is to the Premier. Um, Speaker, I'd like to take you back in time. I'd like to take you way back to last Thursday, May 28th. You remember the lead story of that day was the federal finance minister stating that the deficit could hit $50 billion. Wow. On that day, the Toronto Sun uh, ran a short article, and it was titled, The Prem Won't Revise Deficit, deficit Projections. In it, the Premier was quoted as saying, I have no reason to believe, after based on updates I've received from the Minister of Finance, that we won't be able to manage this. Don't Speaker, uh, then yesterday, the same Minister of Finance admitted the deficit would jump by an additional $4.4 billion. Oh, wow. Premier, the auto bailout numbers were obviously available last week because the Feds adjusted their numbers despite the political damage that they felt it might do. As the new Economic Development Minister, surely these numbers were also known to you. Premier, this is not your first broken promise, but it's perhaps the fastest broken 50, promise. Why did you say one thing last Thursday and do another one today? <laughs> Premier. Speaker to the Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I think if the member uh, reads the, uh, tran what's transpired over the course of the last week, he will find that, in fact, the numbers around General Motors didn't solidify until Sunday. Oh, I think the other thing, I think the right. other... That's right. I think the other thing members should be aware of, he quite properly raises exactly right. uh, um, the fact that the federal government deficit has grown rather dramatically, and I think he should also be cognizant of the fact this is happening across the world, Mr. Speaker, certainly across the Western world. These are very challenging times, part of an international financial uh, crisis, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we've laid out a plan. We, as soon as we became certain about changes, we report those to the public, Mr. The Speaker. Would allow there will the be further reporting at the, usual, at the usual time for the first quarter and fall statement, Mr. Speaker, so that Ontarians can be kept up to date when numbers become available, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Premier, Mr. Speaker, um, I understand that, uh, why the deficit went up, Mr. Speaker, but the, uh, the, the Premier now has the grand slam of record breaking. Oh. He has the highest tax increase in Ontario's history. He has the largest tax de de deficit in Ontario's history. And he's taken this province to have not status. That the grand slam of, ec of economics, this is the stuff of legacy. The Premier is now also the Minister of Economic Development, which means he's in charge of the autofile. Premier, in my mind, there are three possible scenarios as to why you were so wrong last week. A. You were given bad information by your Minister of Finance. B. You did not read or understand the information. Or C. You decided to lay te delay telling Ontarians the facts about political, for political expediency. Premier, which was it? It's D. D. All of the above. Yes, sir. They did the right thing. D. None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. Mr. Speaker, uh, this government uh, has revised numbers with multiple choice at the earliest point in time practical, the first time it's happened, Mr. Speaker. Uh, once the GM numbers were solidified, we felt that based on that, based on the uh, outcome of that uh, particular arrangement, that it was appropriate to give greater clarity to where we Very saw the deficit Orange tracking. Don't care about the auto industry. Since the tabling of the budget, Mr. Speaker, a number of private sector economists have downgraded our uh, um, forecast for growth in the world, uh, Canadian and Ontario economies. We've also tried to take advantage of that in, in, in terms of our forecast for where the deficit is. I can undertake that we will continue to be as transparent and as clear about this as we can to avoid hidden deficits of the order of magnitude of five. Thank you.